So Greg, back in action this weekend at the Bash, looking forward to it? Yeah, happy to, uh, to get back going. Obviously, I've had a pretty uh, stuttered season so far, so I'm looking to, to get back on the field and, uh, and look to push on and kick on and play you know, the rest of the season and play well. And a Derby, Halifax, Bradford is one you know all about, I gather? Yeah, obviously, living, uh, living where I live, uh, pretty much one foot in, in both camps, so up in Queensbury on the tops. Um, yeah, so it's a fantastic game to come back for and uh, one I'm really looking forward to. And Halifax come into it having had a hiccup in London, but presumably still in pretty good spirits. Yeah, I think uh, obviously we'll uh, sit and assess the, the London game tonight and uh, assess where we went wrong and, and, and look to build and, and, and rectify the problems and, and make sure we're right for Bradford at the weekend. And in terms of where you fit in the fixtures, it's a good day of, ge a good day of games on the Saturday, isn't it? You just nestle in there before Lee and Featherstone so you can enjoy the whole day? Yeah, I think uh, as a concept, the bash is brilliant. So, um, you know, to, to sort of get in before the, uh, the Lee Featherstone game and, and hopefully um, get the victory and, and watch the game after, you know, it'd be fantastic. But as a whole, the concept's brilliant and I think it'll be a great weekend. And Halifax will, will travel well in, in support, I imagine, as well. The fans have been getting behind you in recent weeks, haven't they? Yeah, I think obviously with it being Bradford as well, you know, it gives a, an extra reason for the for the Halifax fans to turn up. Uh, they'll be in good voice, I'm sure, and uh, it's just a good rivalry to be honest. I think the the Bradford Halifax games have produced some some cracking games over the last couple of years, and I'm pretty sure Saturday will be uh, another one to add to the list. And Bradford have obviously been having a, a few wobbles of late, but you'd imagine they'll get up for this game. Yeah, I think obviously with it being the derby, um, they'll be motivated. They'll be looking to sort of make right on on what they've been doing wrong, you know, in previous weeks and. I think playing Halifax will give them that incentive. So expecting a tough, uh, tough game at the weekend, and uh, like I say, hopefully one that we uh, we prepare well for and, and come out on top. And the two points are important to you in in that battle for top four places, I guess. Absolutely, I think there's a bit of a cluster around sort of three, four, uh, and five. So you know we're wanting to try and make some ground on the people below us, and, and we need to do that by getting a win at the weekend. And this place has changed a bit since you last played here? Yeah, it's uh, obviously, I think it was 2016, last time I played here, so it's, it's quite a difference. But uh, you know, it's a brilliant setup now here at Edinley. It's, you know, it's something that, uh, that's you know, it's well deserved at this ground. It's got a lot of history, a fantastic team play from it. And uh, yeah, it, it looks the business. Um, fantastic facility, and like I say, really, really uh, looking forward to playing here at the weekend. Because you would have some bash memories from Blackpool, would you, if you played there? Yeah, I've played a couple of times at Blackpool, been you know, great weekends up there and uh, a fantastic experience and this will just be a, another one to add to it, you know, a different venue but uh, same concept and a little bit closer to home so you know, hopefully a few more friends and family will be able to get here.